This is the 226th episode of Cloud Focus Weekly for the first day of Dreamforce 15. This episode is titled Dreamforce 15 Day 1. Cloud Focus Weekly will be live here at Dreamforce clearly today. That's a big duh in your world. But we're also doing tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., which we'll have separate content. We won't just repeat everything we're going to say today. We're also doing Thursday, September 17th at 1.30 p.m. So that'll probably be our wrap-up show, have tons of information. And we do promise to have swag, stuff you get, um, for next show, or next two shows. So we didn't get it for this show, but we got it, and we'll get it for the next two shows. Um, so come by if you're going to come by again, or if you're listening to this because you downloaded it tonight, then you can come by tomorrow. Um, We've already I, lost the listener. Oh, he's gone. He's walking away. You're in the middle of he's my podcast. Looking him wa- he's walking away. <laughs> walking away. You can, come on. This is why we don't podcast in front of and anybody. And he's gone. He's right. like, I'm never coming back. All right. I want to remind you all that the Admin Zone Podcast Studio is sponsored by Aptis. Providing quote to cash solutions and X author for Excel. I said that so well. Thanks, uh, Aptis. I am your host, Jason Atwood, and joining me, co host, 226 times in a row, Justin Edelstein. How are you doing? I am full of dim sum. You and I am <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> that MSG is going to make this the podcast. MSG, I don't know what it's doing. I'm drugged. Where did we go for lunch? To a dim sum restaurant. Yes. It was, it was fabulous. It was, it was gluttonous, is what it was. It was. How are those spare ribs? Did you finish them? I did not, <laughs> and I'm glad that that I didn't, because I feel like I, I wouldn't be sitting here. No, you would not be sitting I'd here. I'd be laying on a floor, curled up. That that was my second thought. Ugh. Um, we do have an agenda, even though this is a mostly Dreamforce podcast. We have uh, we have a blog post from last week. So those of you don't are out there and don't know about this, we have a blog um, on our website, blog.archisync.com, and we do weekly blog posts. So we've done, I guess, five years with a blog post. All on Salesforce. That's 100% Salesforce, pure blog, mainly. I'd say 98%. 98% blog. 98.4%. Um, but this week, we actually published it yesterday, a little bit late in terms of Dreamforce, but by our good friend Roger in the, studi- in the audience, Mitchell, um, which was one on the Dev Zone. So it's actually about called Learn and Boost Skills at Dreamforce 15 Dev Zone. By Roger Mitchell, right in front of us. Right in front, taking he a picture, that. and and the dev zone is right behind us. You actually turn around, Roger. It's and right bow there. Look at that. Bow to the audience of people who have now have heard about you. Um, so he wrote the po- the blog about all the cool stuff you can do in the dev zone. What 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 kind of cool stuff can you do? Well, that's what I'm. That's what I want you and I to talk about for five ten minutes, and then we'll uh, go on to other news. That's stretching it. Five <laughs> to ten minutes. Yes. We were told we had to talk for fifty minutes. By the way, we usually w- we're not this boring. This is stretch. This is the word. Stretch. This is stretch. All stretch right. it. So basically, everything that he talked about for Tuesday is already done. So let's not talk about any of that. Okay. Right. But Wednesday's got actually some cool sessions that he's called out. Go ahead, read them off. <laughs> Clearly, you don't have look, any of this well, look, in front of me. Look at this. It's, it's, it's loading as slow as it possibly can. You are can. a Dreamforce fail. Well, Wi-Fi should be faster. Yeah. Anyway, so there's, um, there's a couple of cool ones tomorrow. There's one on virtual reality display using Salesforce data. That's tomorrow. Kinda cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, and then there's, a, there's another session on Lightning Connect um, showing two-way connection. So, you know, we haven't talked about Lightning Connect in a while, but we're here at Dreamforce, so why don't we talk about Lightning Connect? Okay. So Lightning Connect is Salesforce product uh, based on an open, sor- open source uh, connection algorithm called OData. And OData 2, which is the sort of new version, allows you to do something that OData 1 didn't. I think, I think I'm going to correct you in front of the crowd. Uh, what? I think we're on 2, and 4 would be the four? new 4? This many? That's what I believe. Or this many? This many. And this many? Four. four. All right. Like that. So that so the current way Lightning Connect works is that it allows you to suck in data from an external source, see it in Salesforce, do all sorts of stuff, but it's not actually residing in Salesforce. It's very cool because if you're used to the Salesforce user interface, you have related lists of data that just show up as you load a record. That's right, and it can it can actually relate via IDs. It can be you know again, it's there for all intents and purposes, but not really residing in Salesforce. Searchable. Yep. List right, viewable. queries against it. It's very or, nice. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. But you can't go round tripping. So if you change some data, you edit data, it doesn't go back to the original source until... Yeah. Well, I don't even think you can... Can you even edit stuff? No, there's no editing of it. That's you what I'm saying. You can edit some fields if you create them. If you create new fields. So I'm saying, that, but in the new version, yeah, you'll be able to edit and it'll round trip back. What? Yes. So that's what's that Say that session. again. Yeah. So using this... 
using OData, using Lightning Connect, the newer version, which will be, again, based on a new version of OData, you will be able to round trip data. You make a change in Salesforce, again, not residing in Salesforce, but that data then will go back to its source, let's say a SQL database, and update the source. That's cool. Super crazy sauce. That's kind of neat. Banana pants. That's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I wish that it's kind of an interesting use case for Salesforce to Salesforce to go away. So you know what? It is a use, use case for Salesforce to Salesforce. And you can do stuff with Lightning Connect from Salesforce to Salesforce. It's one of the sources of a Lightning Connect connection. Sure. So you can have two Salesforce instances talking to one another. By a Lightning Connect. By a Lightning Connect. Very much. So that was one of the sessions for tomorrow. And another one, I'm just going to pull this up to my face now. Um, oh, he's saying that there's a great code consultation um, booth over there that you can go hand that you can go take a look at. Uh, and let's see what else. Oh, and of course, if you're a de developer, you're probably looking at your develop your dev career. There's also sections over there to help you with your career, your dev career, like to like help you figure out how to build that into your resume, your LinkedIn, how to get good jobby jobs. I heard it was why is also Roger why is Roger doing anything about jobs? I don't by know. The way? That but is not I, I heard it was a lot about helping with presentation skills as well. So as a developer, getting into like I mean, how do I'm how do explain your ideas better to oh, okay. the business side of, of things? Excellent. I did that really well. Yeah, you really I? did. I was going to wait for you to fumble all nope, over that. Nope, that was nope, good. nope. I know my audience out here <laughs> is listening, and they can start throwing things at any they moment. They should start throwing things at you. Um, so anyway, that is available. If you want to read the whole, the whole blog post, you can see Roger's picture. You can follow him on Twitter. You go to blog.arcasync. That's A-R-K. <laughs> Come on. How do you spell? I-N-C dot com. And uh, you can read all about that. We have, uh, I think, about six or seven blog posts about uh, Dreamforce this year. Yeah. So I, I threw a lot of Dreamforce in the calendar. As the blog master, you as did that. As the blog master. You did a good job. I think there'll be one more, which will be a recap. A recap. It'll talk about this. There's a lot of stuff to recap. Speaking of recapping. Speaking of. So, we're, so this is a weird day because this is the... In typical Dreamforce fashion, or in not typical Dreamforce fashion, as, as again, we, we talked about this before in, in, our po in our other podcast, but this is your seventh, eight. This is eight. And Do this, not short me. This is, this is your eight. I might be five foot four on my driver's license. And Don't short me. And my ninth. And this is the is little that a power play by you yeah, just there? a little there? bit. Little is bit. that a power yeah, move? I could stand up. That'd be the other move. Don't do that. <laughs> then I'll stand on this chair and I'll fall <laughs> and everyone will have a good laugh. Um, but generally, terrible. again, in the first bunch that I've gone to, usually the keynote is the thing that kicks it off on the second day or the first day. Sometimes it's the first day. And it's like the morning thing and the keynote's the big like kickoff to the dream I'm going to go ahead and disagree with you, my friend. Well, the, the years that you didn't go. So how many of those were there? One. What is this, 15? I've been to more than half of the Dream Forces ever. That's true. True enough. So I feel like the first day has always been like this. Nah. Well, way back in the day. Yeah, it used to in be in the prehistoric era, <laughs> before yeah. the cloud was the cloud. Yeah. There were two big keynotes. Yes. And those were the big deal, but yep. there were only three days of Dream Force. Right. But now we have four days of Dreamforce, right? So the keynote now coming on the third day. Well, you're, you're talking about as like the keynote. Right. I've already been to a keynote. You have already been to a keynote. True there enough. are many a keynote nowadays. True enough. And what you're talking about is the Mark Benioff keynote. That's right. Which I thought was going to be this podcast, but it, apparently it's not happening. Not happening. He's, I thought he was coming. Late. He, you know, he, my watch lit up and it said Mark Benioff's on his way. Yeah. And then I got a little cancellation notice at the last minute. I was running my podcast from my wrist, and the whole thing just fell apart. Anyway. Ah, fascinating. So he's on tomorrow at 1. Yes. But there's tons of product keynotes that are going on all over the place. All the time. I don't think you can actually go to all the keynotes. Aren't there keynotes overlapping? Yeah, but I think they're, they're doubling some of them. The there are quite a few that are doubled. Doubled up. Yeah, and they're only an hour, some of them. Some are an hour and a half. I went to a really good one this morning with the Golden State Warriors. Tell me about it. It was about building a team for success. Tell me about it for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> as, the, as the podcast police walks by and makes sure we're still talking. Um, the, the Golden State Warriors thing, they had the GM and the CEO yep. of the Warriors there, as well as it was 
I guess it was hosted by their play-by-play announcer, who was sort of moderating between the two of them. And the whole thing was about leadership and team building and how to build a championship team. And it wasn't about building a championship basketball team. That in and of itself, for me, would be very interesting. Yes. But it was really about the whole entire organization being in lockstep and from leadership on down, like being able to all be on the same page, being very meticulous about the people that they hire. And it was very much a person-centric conversation. Right. Where it was, you know, we want to hire the right people for the right jobs with the right attitudes that'll fit in very much about fit and and um you know no one cares who gets the credit it was all about how the organization does and they have one goal and that was winning a championship and nobody cared who got credit they brought up a very you know really good story about one of their players andre iguodala who had started his entire career he was he's an olympic uh, gold medalist he was an all-star he was a, a big player And at the start of the season, the head coach, Steve Kerr, said to him, you're going to come off the bench this year, so you're not starting. And he took it in stride. He said all the right things. He did all the right things. And he stayed prepared and did his thing. They had a historic regular season. They won a ton of games, like one of the best seasons ever. And then when they needed him in the finals, they were down 2-1. They said, all right, you need to start now. So he hadn't started all year. And then he was the catalyst. He actually won the finals MVP. Wow. So it was a real story about how it was just, you know, the next man up theory or everyone takes out the trash. It was a very, very good opening for me for the conference from a, you know, an executive presentation perspective. I really enjoyed that keynote. I think they're doing it again, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, because it was very popular. So if you catch this podcast later tonight or tomorrow morning, try and hit that session up because it's really good. It was at the Yerba Buena Theater. That's very cool. I did not I did not see it. It was on and I was on my way to another session. I, well, I went to the partner session. Well, it's part of what I keynote. really like about what Dreamforce has become because it's, it is definitely a tech conference, no doubt about it. But it also has these other aspects to it, like these mindfulness or very like ted type of feel to it where they'll do a leadership track or a mindfulness track or a health and wellness track or something along those lines where it's got a little bit of something for everybody um mostly obviously salesforce specific but this this particular uh, keynote had no tie into salesforce whatsoever outside of just the fact that they're trying to build their arena here um, I heard they made a, I heard they made a plug for Dreamforce at the arena at some point. Well, they told a little story about how the place where they're building the arena was where Salesforce was going to build their campus. That's right. But then Salesforce outgrew the campus before they started to build the campus. <laughs> that will happen. Which will, you know, will eventually now be the tower. So, I guess the owner of the of the of uh, the Warriors. And Mark Benioff got together and he sold them the land. Yep. And now they're going to develop it privately. So no public money is even going into it. That's very Which cool. is very um, not odd for these, these days. Yeah. Not, not very businesslike. Well, most, most arenas now get built by the state or the right. city or right. us people traveling into the city and paying hotel taxes or whatever it might be. <laughs> Don't talk to me about hotel uh, health taxes. So... Are we Again, doing a good job stretching this, by the way? I think you're way? doing good, but I, what I wanted to really bring up really was... stretching was, here. And real, the real whole point with this is that this podcast is tough because we haven't sort of done the main event yet. No, the main event's tomorrow at right. 1, and we'll be podcasting again tomorrow at 9.30, which <laughs> means two out of our three podcasts will be pre-main event. Yeah, the pre-main event. But what I did want to bring up is sort of like the themes. Like, so, you know, we never really know until we get here, although you can get some of the hints by reading the brochures or whatever... But there's sort of two big themes here. Um, one I'm surprised about, or a little surprised, and the other one I'm not. But what like, do you think the two main themes are? Uh, to me, obviously, lightning is one main you, theme. You mean that big lightning bolt right yep. there yes. staring us in the face? Right. I mean, obviously, the new UI, it's, it's the launching of it, and so everything is lightning. Well, that one we knew. They, they told us that. And that's the one I knew. The other one that I'm surprised and I'm seeing a lot, and maybe it's just because of the area of the mat or in the dev zone, whatever, is Trailhead. 
I think we knew that one too. I didn't know Trailhead was gonna be this big of a presence here at, at Dreamforce. All I'm seeing is Trailhead. And that's what I'm saying. I'm in a cabin in the woods right now. <laughs> you are in a cabin in the woods in a podcast. Well, this studio. is the lodge, right? The admin this is, lodge. This is the admin lodge. So well, I'm in a, I'm in they, a ski they lodge. They actually have a over in the dev zone, so you might want to check this out. They do have an actual cabin. Does it have an electric car in it? <laughs> it would make absolutely no sense, but it probably does. Can I tell like if the lights are on in my cabin from my apartment? No, my just your apartment. Just your Apple Watch. My Internet of Thing your internet cabin. Of things. So uh, that to me is a little bit. I didn't know it was going to be this sort of main focused. And I think it's interesting because it's and even sitting in the partner keynote. So I'll bring it back to stuff that I heard. They said that a lot of what they're going to be doing in terms of the partner stuff is going to start to centralize around Trailhead as well, and the badging and you know sort of getting of. You know, not sort of certifications necessarily, but of, you know, getting the badges. And that's their way of sort of putting out the content that they want us as admins and as developers to consume. Because the amount, it's almost like, ooh, I'm going to make a little jump. It's almost like it's replacing release notes. Because they can't keep the amount of stuff and products and things that are coming out is massive. And those release notes are becoming massive 400 some odd pages on this last one exactly but whereas you could use trailhead with videos with quizzes with badging and make that content that sort of here's the new stuff like they did that with lightning lightning accreditation which we went to the trailheads for they took the content that they could have put in a pdf and said read the pdf and they said let's put this in the trailhead and make make it sort of you know fun for people to do and therefore i'm telling you about our new product but I'm doing it in a way that is not just reading a big PDF. It's also rather appropriate for this conference because it's all about learning. Yeah. So that's what, that, at least this floor that we're on here in Moscone West on the second floor, this floor is all about learning, right? All the zones, the lodges, and that's what Trailhead is. It's kind of a, right. an, a mini LMS. Uh, yeah, and I'm just, I'm fascinated where that's going. So that to me is giving like us a little clue of where they're pushing it and hearing it from the partner side, they're going to be pushing the partners more and more into Trailhead, which is brand new. Like they haven't done that into it to make that a place where they're going to measure partners based on Trailhead stuff, modules, so trails, modules badges. and badges and yep. things. And to start to think and to think about that no, not as an individual thing, which they're doing today. Like you as an individual have ten badges, and hey. I have, and I have like twenty five. But I'm just saying, <laughs> um, but. They're also going to start to look at it as a company aspect. My so, badges are better than your badges, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which badges you have. I have so many badges. I think there needs to be a better way to share badges. Yeah, you should. when you get a badge, yeah. you should be able to throw it into, like, work.com or something. So so that, that's sort of the two main themes I'm seeing. Are you seeing anything different, or, or have we been in the same space for the entire time, and I'm already uh, sick of you? I've been in the same space. I didn't go to the partner keynote like you did, so that was kind of cool of you. I hung out in the developer zone, very mobile-centric in there. Yep. Very front-endy, so what I've have noticed. You, what have you gone to in terms of a, uh, in terms of a session yet? I went to two sessions, both on mobile, so the mobile SDK and one on Ionic plus mobile SDK. So let's avoid mobile, the first one, and let's hear about the second one as I stretch. As you stretch. So actually, the first one was more interesting to me, but the okay. second one, so they had um, someone present at the developer zone at the theater. So it wasn't like in a room. It was at the theater. Just showing the setup of a Ionic framework consumer-based web application hooked into the Salesforce SDK. So you know I'm not going to let you get away with just saying Ionic, like it's something sure, that everybody but knows. We've, well, we've done this before on this podcast. And Mark Madrid times. is not going to let you get away with just saying Ionic and then not call you, you out on it. You can't just shout people's name yeah, out. I just did. No, you can't do that. Um, no shout out for Mark Madrid Consulting. It's a, <laughs> very simply, it's a, it's a cross-platform application development framework so that you can develop your app once and deploy it to iOS, Android, and I believe even Windows Phone. Okay. So you can do your sort of, it's the wrapper for what you would do for the consumer mobile app and then deploy it out to all the different distribution channels. So the, the App Store, Google Play, what have you. Right. And it allows you to work with kind of one code base, if you will. Yep. 
uh, and just focus on front end work. Right. And use you know some of the JavaScript -y libraries that are out there these days, and you know connect into Salesforce and using the Salesforce mobile SDK, use some of the stuff that they provide out of the box. Right. For the OAuth and push notifications and things like that. Plug into Cordova to get to the phone. So the camera, the geolocation, your calendar, nice. things like that. Put that all together and you have a nice a nice mix of technologies for deploying a consumer mobile application on a Salesforce community. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So I the other thing I wanted to bring up, and as I stretch here, really stretching. Well, let's see what time uh, <laughs> the old watch. Oh, we have to go in uh, <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, we said this was going to be a short one. I know, but then we were told that we cannot get off this we were literally until 4.30. The podcast police. And then someone put a sign down here. What's that sign say? What does it say? It says Aptis on it. Oh, it's their branding. Oh, but we're Arcus. Yeah, they spelled it wrong. Oh, okay. It's three X's. All right. It's pronounced Sade. <laughs> Not Sade, it's Sade. Um, so the one other thing, so we've had a side conversation, and I thought we'd bring that side conversation, an off-the-air conversation. What, what was it about? Well, was it was about a, the New York Jets? It was not. Oh. It was not. Uh, I don't, I'm not wearing my New York Jets cufflinks. Um, that's tomorrow. It was actually about lightning. So, I, so in the part near... What about lightning? I There's know. so many things about lightning. So many things. You can't just say lightning. Well, I think for this, for this audience, I'm really going to bring it back to what we were talking about as we walked over here is that... So I saw another, yet, another you know set what? of demos. We shouldn't talk. Why? Why are we talking we off air? We show. No, why are we talking off air? Listen, we're wasting I, good things. If I could not talk to you off air, I'd be happy. We're wasting all the good Once stuff. Once a week for an hour is about as much as I want to talk to you. I feel like when we don't practice, we're so much better. Okay. So I'm going to then pretend like I didn't have this conversation with you? Well, I don't know. Surprise me. There's right. something new in there. So anyway, I was so Lightning. So we're walking I saw, down the street. I, I saw this partner <laughs> keynote, and I was sitting next to a sales guy, and, I, and they were showing all the new salesy stuff, and they were doing a demo, and I was like shaking them. I'm like, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. I was kind of getting excited. He's like, ooh, I kind of will like that. I kind of will like that. What was it? It was the board view. Oh, it was? It was. It was <laughs> the board view. <laughs> we didn't just have this conversation. We didn't. And but what I so I said you're gonna love this as a sales guy you don't care like this is all gonna be cool it's all new to you it's fresh it's gonna show you some new stuff you get functionality you're gonna so love. this is this is just to just to clear this up so this is the the opportunity list view that turns into the board yes that you can take the opportunity that the opportunities that are represented as little cards yes and move them around yes from stage to stage willy-nilly. And everything recalculates. And everything and starts recalculating yes. on the fly. Really a great demo. I mean, it's one of the best demos I've seen because it just demo, it demos great. It's a great demo. There's a little there's little hooks and tricks underneath yes. the covers. But Lots of stuff. But you know what? We're here to, we're here to make it we'll, look we'll good. Do, we'll discuss that in the next 20 minutes. All right. But what my thought was, as I said to him, I was like, you, sales guy who doesn't have to do any admin work, you're going to love this. Me, admin guy who has you know, way too much time on this platform, I now have to rethink, and all the people who probably listen to this podcast and all the people who are in this zone, we all have to change everything we know and think about and explain and talk about about Salesforce and about the UI. Because everything? Everything, because we can't say the things that, you know, those things that just roll off the, oh, well, you can't do that. You can't, no. Hey, well, that's not hey. the way Salesforce does that. Whoa. And that's how Salesforce does that. I'll give you hey. an example. Whoa. Yes. Salesforce can do anything. Let me give you an example. I love to use the example when I'm training people of when you're looking at a screen, I teach them about a, a lead. And I'm like, here's a lead, and here's how you do it, and here's how you edit, and here's a related list, and here's sections, and the collapsible, and blah, blah, blah. I give them all this information, much, much slower than that. And then, and then I say, oh, well, and let me go I feel, over to – I feel ready to use Salesforce. You're ready. And then I go over to, like, an account, and I say, look – it looks just like a lead, but there's some color differences and data it's differences. It's blue. And it's blue, and the icon's different. But but you, Mr. I-know-what-a-lead is, you now know what a contact and an account is. And look, an opportunity looks the same. They all look and feel the same. So as you navigate around the system, you feel comfortable. Cause, and when I build you a custom thing for invoices, you'll hand on that, that record and go, oh, 
this looks exactly the same as well. I can edit. I have list views. I have other stuff. You know what? You're complaining because you've had a ready-made speech for like three I know. years. I know. i got to change and it. And now you have to change your speech. I have speech. to change my speech. And the problem is I don't even know what to change it to now. I'm like, well, you guess it's all different. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Here's my hot take. Training just took, hot a, take. Training just took a lot. Don't change it. Don't change it? Just stick with it. Stick with it? Yep. Don't even change it. I don't think that's going to work. Unless I just say don't. Don't click on that up there. I have a feeling that I'm going to be saying that part for a little while. Wow. You're never getting Benny off to come up mm-hmm. here if you're going to tell him don't go to Lightning. I'm trying to get Benny off to come up here by saying controversial things. Oh. Bring it, Mark. Oh, what you're saying is. You know, Mark will be like <laughs> up here on me. Why don't you stand on that chair right so you can talk to Mark Benny when he doesn't show up? You're disappointing me, Mark. <laughs> just know this. I'm tweeting about this later. You go, you go right ahead. I have like four followers. <laughs> You have many more than four. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, I just think that's an interesting – it's an interesting thing that we have to re- rethink as admins how we talk about, explain the platform and what you can do with the platform. Well, it's and not how just you can admins, use. though. Well, I think we're the ones caught in the mix. We're the ones caught between, you know, the front end that users will enjoy and the stuff that we can change, right? Well, you're thinking about the stuff that – the 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 what who are we admins admins because yes. we're in the admin lodge yes i'm playing to our audience here those are admins are they raise your hand if you're an admin see there's four i've of got them. like one two three four and a half everybody you're else half? Who, everybody else like me is ignoring you no everyone else who didn't raise their hand you see the <laughs> five thousand people they're not admins <laughs> they are going to enjoy the new ui Raise your hand if you can't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. So are you going to make a, a salient point, or are you just going to stand there? Well, I've been standing for a <laughs> while now. <I'm> kind of <laughs> comfortable. No, I, I feel like I, tomorrow with the big reveal, which Salesforce is very good at revealing things before they reveal things. That's true. Is it's the worst kept secret in, in Well, technology. this one wasn't really meant to be a secret, but they're going to show lightning up there, and it's going to look awesome. Right. And people are going to want to use it right now. And you're going to tell and them I'm not. And I'm going to tell them not to. <laughs> and that's going to be my thing for a little while. <laughs> Hashtag And it's no not lightning. about me. I'm willing to go in and learn it and do all that stuff. I'm, I'm going to tell people not to use it. Why? Because I don't think it's ready. Why? Because it's not feature comparable. Oof, you might get them up here. Well, if I can't build a report in it. Why would I be in it? What percentage of people? What percentage of actual users build report? Answer: one point two percent. No, that you just made that up. I know, and I'm right. Roger says I'm right. If I can't use campaigns, two point five percent. Yeah, is this an aggregate? Can I keep going till I get to like fifty percent? Opportunities: seventy five percent. Hey, right. listen, they know the stats. They go from the top down. They, you know, lowest hanging fruit, and they say, here's the thing. I know, but what most. happens, I'm, now I'm going to go a little on the, go. on the pessimistic side. Go. But what Do happens it. when, you know. Mike Roth is in the house. Mike Roth's in the house. Hello, Michael. Um, what ha- he doesn't hear me. What happens when you have, like, a validation rule on this opportunity that you're moving so seamlessly from one column to the next column, and it says, you can't do that. It'll say That's not you fun can't do for that. anybody. It'll say you can't do that. That gets less fun. Probably. A little bit. But so what? Yeah, I don't know. Jump in the lightning. Jump in the pool. I'm not going to jump in. All right. So I have first. another question for I'm you. I'm going to dip my toe into the I lightning I have another question pool. for you. I'm scared of water. and You keep, like, water and lightning. That sounds very dangerous. I'm, oh, hey. Well, then how about this? What's thunder? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. It's thunder and lightning. Thank you, co-host of Cloud it, Focus Weekly. It sounds like a running back duo. It does. Who was that running back duo for the New York Giants? Ron Dane and Tiki Barber. It's just knowledge just that no any, one should have. Any knowledge no about one sports, have just just knowledge. I should do a sports podcast. Hey, Michael Roth. I'm doing great, man. We're just podcasting. Nobody's listening. Oh, no, yeah, he's okay. listening. That's cool. Do you know what's more interesting than, than us talking to him now? You know what I'm is engaging. The peop- is the people who are listening to us talking to him later. I'm engaging. Like, they're, they're like, listen to this tomorrow. They're like, yeah, I heard this one-sided conversation on the podcast, and you guys suck. I wonder yep. how many other podcasts that have been recorded today yes. have been as useless as this one. <laughs> <laughs> 99%. <laughs> I mean, this is, we've, we've given out very little 
true, real true like, content? Any con? I mean, we're. I feel like we're potentially entertaining. Potentially, I'm entertaining myself at least. Two point three percent. Yeah. As much as I'm climbing, I think, I'm getting towards ten. I think tomorrow we should do a little bit less MSG. Oh, <laughs> and that'll probably I'm make still the whole got thing. like a belly full of like dim sum that's yeah. just terrible. slowing me down here. It is terrible. All right, so I, I think. What does your Apple Watch say? My Apple Watch says I think we're about to wrap it up. Does it really? Yeah, because I don't think we can stretch anymore. You know what? He can come in. Well, we are, are we waiting for like all these announcements that have happened? We can wait till tomorrow, I guess. We have a whole podcast to do tomorrow, which is going to make us stand up here for another whole hour and talk about things we don't know about. I feel like we should get a guest. Tomorrow, you want to get a guest? Well, we have a guest for Thursday. Okay. We have the great Adam Torman. Yes. The, the great, the fantastic and wonderful Adam Torman. That will be. So what is Adam best known for? Well, he's best known for, in my mind, helping us think up the permissioner and, and creating permission sets. Brought to you by Arcus. Brought to you by Arcus. So, but now he's on to bigger, badder, better things with event logging and security and stuff. So we're going to ask him all about, he's going to know everything about everything. Will he explain the shield to me, Salesforce shield? He'll explain shield. the shield. He'll Platform explain, encryption. He'll explain every superhero you need to know about. He'll explain lightning. He'll explain thunder. He will explain thunder. He's got to know it. I mean, he's the he's the guy. But I feel like we should try and get somebody on the show tomorrow. Who do you want to get on? Mark Benioff. Okay, second guest. Second, go for go Parker for Harris. <laughs> Keep going to the executive. So now you can only name one other executive. There, go for it. I don't know. Keep blocking. Yeah, I know. I know that's the only one you can do. We'll we'll get someone on. All right. So tonight, we'll tonight we'll, while we're having our little soiree. Yes. We'll ask around and see if anyone wants to podcast at 9 30 in the morning 9 30 in the morning tomorrow which by eastern standard time is you know 12 30 so whatever that's assuming that they're from the eastern that's time fine. zone i want them here and we'll 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 do our first of of a very small series of interviews tomorrow yeah my goal is tonight to recruit somebody to come on this podcast Excellent. tomorrow Excellent. to do a little little interview action a little you know thoughts of the first day from a different perspective than our own because yes. we just gave our thoughts of the first day all right, so here's the other thing. I'm calling you out right now. Don't do that. Yep, right Don't now. Don't do it. You Don't. are going to need to have Don't. one. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm not. One. All right, fine. Cloud focus at pick of the oh. week. Oh. Yep, for Why? the last episode. No, for the last episode. So I'm just going to walk the floor and pick my favorite You out. know what? I could, I could pull back the episode a year ago and have you say the exact same thing. So, yes, you all you have to do is walk the floor and pick an app, but you need to have one. I wonder just which one. floor I should walk, though. Whatever floor you which want. Which floor is better? West or West or, or uh, what is it? North. North. Which one's better? Again, pe anyone listening? People at home anyone? not enjoying that. People, <laughs> nobody's <laughs> listening. All right, so we'll be back. Why are tomorrow. we doing this? Nobody's we'll, listening. We'll be back tomorrow, 9:30 a.m. For those who want to stop by, we will have swag with us then. Will we? Yes, we will. What are Guaranteed. we giving out? I will show you then tomorrow. We'll no talk one's going to gonna show up. You got to tease it. Like uh, better than that, you got to tell them like it's it's the best thing ever. It will go on your lanyard. Ooh, for two hundred for two hundred dollars, it, it? it will go on your lanyard. Does it have anything to do with the Internet of Things? Yes, you use it in the Internet. How's that? Sounds great. All right, so we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, Justin, and Jason, saying enjoy those cloudy. Nights.